Hey guys, I'm Pastor Caleb from Emmanuel Assembly of God, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a sword or a cross. All right, this is a uh, different than a pirate sword, which is another type of a sword. But today we're going to make a cross. A cross is a great thing to make at mission trips or at an outreach. Kids will turn it around and use it as a sword. But if you're concerned about making a weapon, call it a cross. And even though the kids will sword fight with it, you made them a cross, all right? Now, to make a cross, we're going to start out by filling up a balloon all the way. Now, I just counted. That's nine pumps, and it filled it up all the way to the very end. So there's no, no, no slack at the end, all right? Now, we're going to let out a burp, which just means I'm going to... Before I tie it, I'm gonna let out some air. You can make it fart, make a joke about that. That works well, kids will laugh. And then we're gonna just tie the balloon off. I just explained how to tie a balloon in another video. So if you're unsure of how to tie a balloon, go back and watch that video. Now, to make our cross, we're gonna fold the balloon once, fold the balloon twice giving us a Z shape. See how that's a Z shape? And I've got a long part here at the end. That long part there at the end, if it's a sword, makes for better sword fighting because it's a longer blade. Um, it's a cross, a sword, flower stem, what have you. But we folded it like this. So I'm gonna take one hand, two hands on it. See that space between? With one of my hands, I'm gonna squeeze the air out between my uh, index finger or my thumb, and then with the other hand, I'm going to take and twist that around. And then I'm going to twist that around one more time just to make sure it really stays. And then to secure this so it's stable, I'm going to take this end of the balloon, run it through the middle of that, and then neaten it back up. The reason for that there is it actually ties a knot in the balloon, and now it's not able to come undone. So now, no matter what twisting I do to the balloon, Unless I run the handle back through there, it will not come undone. So this is going to be our sword, or more importantly, our cross. 